Hi guys, it's Kylie. Welcome back to another video. So today I have um, a haul slash unboxing and it's of the Bell nail drill, e-file sort of thing. So I'm just going to go through everything that's in the box and at the end of the video I'll do like a fast clip of me using it to take off this disaster that's going on right here. And so yeah, let's get into the box. So as you can see, it comes quite well compacted. Um, it came really secure actually, um, in a huge box, which I thought was a bit unnecessary, but um, whatever. So inside you have your instructions and things like that, which it tells you how to use the drill bits and it tells you how to like set up the machine and so on and so forth. You also have this little set of drill bits. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use these ones or do I want to buy another set. I'm going to have a little play and see what happens before I decide. But yeah, it came with these and also the sanding pans up here. Um, also came with this little holder which I'm assuming this sits on just like that and this is the which I was quite surprised about it isn't actually very heavy um so I was quite chuffed with that but it just comes with like a, a stretchy cable and things like that which I'm probably going to need that because I think it's going to have to go in the corner of my desk so the fact that it's got like that stretchy thing would be perfect and this is what the actual obviously it comes with like the UK mains cable and things which is great because it's not the first time that I've bought something off of Amazon and it's came with an American plug um, so yeah it definitely comes with the UK mains cable let me just push this box over here and this is why I actually went for it because as you could see the box itself is really small and I don't have that much desk space so I wanted something that did the job but was still quite small it's like my nail lamp that's fairly small as well so I wanted something that um, fit in the space that I had so this is why I went for this one but it just has the all the buttons and dials and things like that there so I'm guessing this is to turn up the speed of your machine although I'm not sure so I'm going to have a good proper look through it before I actually electrocute myself or something like that but yeah I was really quite happy with like the size and that's going to just fit in the corner right beside my nail lamp perfectly so I thought at first I would have to make some room on my desk but it kind of looks like this is going to fit just perfectly beside my nail lamp so yeah I like that so I'm guessing what you do is put this in here I'm not going to switch it on because it would drown out me. <laughs> but yeah, it's got the little on-off switch here. Um, but yeah, I'm really quite happy with it. I'll have, let, take a closer look at these. If I could get the box open. So yeah, as I said, it's got the little sanding bands and these would just go like that. And I think obviously because this is going to be my first time using one, I wanted to be a little bit safe before I hurt myself and went straight for the metal. So I want to give this a little practice before I actually put it on my own nails. So I've got some nail pops that I'm going to try getting some gel polish and build the gel off so yeah that's the first one anyway let me just this is a 
And then we'll have this one here. Slightly the same as the one before, but a bit thinner and longer. I think this is going to be perfect for getting like the, the built product from around the back of the finger. And I think it may also work for like getting some of the bulk off the cuticle area, like the top here. And you have sort of like a teardrop one. And then this is the cuticle one. So yeah, they all come sitting in this little like foam board stuff just here. And then it has a little bit up here for you to put all of these little sanding bands in. So yeah, give me two minutes to set this up and I'll show you how I've set it up. And then I'm going to take off this product for you guys as well so you could see what it's like so as you can see i've gone ahead and set everything up and i was having a little go there so now i'm going to show you on this full nail um i've went and put the coarse sanding band on and i'm going to remove the product and quite a fair bit of the bulk from the nail because i'm going to be removing these as you can see i've had a break um so yeah, I'm going to be removing these and putting another set on. So I'm going to show you getting this off. So I'm back again guys and I've just gone ahead and removed the rest of that off. Now as you can see I haven't gone down to the natural nail. I've left probably about two coats of the builder gel still on there. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak that off. So that's a really good tip. Um, if you don't want to put the hard gel right on your natural nail is put some soak off gel underneath. And that's what I like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and soak all that off. But as you can see for the drill itself it's probably took me five minutes to get all that product off um i'm gonna go ahead and do the same with this hand but um yeah i'm really happy with the drill uh if you want to know more about the drill i'll leave the price and where i got it from and all the links in the description box below um but i think for a beginner like myself for a first time drill yeah i think it does the job just fine um i did notice that it tended to slip out my hand a little bit um which in turn like caused a little bit of burn see like like a burning sensation on my finger but it only happened twice maybe in all the time that i was doing it but i don't know if it was maybe because i was um focusing so much on the nail that i wasn't paying like paying attention to the heat until it was there if that makes any sense so yeah i'm actually really happy with how how it performs um but yeah like i've mentioned i'll leave everything for the drill in the description box below but thank you so much guys and i really hope you enjoyed this video and would i suggest to go out and get it well i'm not too sure but i think for a first time drill it's definitely what you need um so yeah i'm happy i would probably give it marks 7 out of 10 but then it's my very first drill so I don't really know anything to compare it to to me it does just fine um, so yeah thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you next time bye